Let us now take a look at which are the valid patterns of predicate logic or the valid inferences in predicate logic. And remember, valid, logically strong. And by the way, in the book, what I'm calling logically strong, Feldman calls well formed. We're going to change what we call things a little bit. And at the end of this lecture, let me tell you how we're going to change some of the terms. But logically strong as we're using it is the same thing as Feldman's well formed, that anything that has a good form is a logically strong argument. So let's go back to our example. Socrates is a man and all men are mortal, therefore Socrates is mortal. And let us remind ourselves, what is the conclusion? Let, of course, the first step is to reconstruct the argument. And in this case, easy to reconstruct, right? The conclusion is Socrates is mortal. And what are the premises? Well, one is Socrates is a man. And another one is the generalization, all men are mortal. Now, remember, we go through replacing men and man with A, mortal with B, mortal with B, Socrates X. When we're talking about individuals, remember, we're going to use X, Y, and Z for individuals, A, B, C, D, E, if we need it. We're probably not going to go past, need past A or B, maybe to C. We're going to see that uh, A, B, C's capitals at the beginning of the alphabet are going to be for categories, generalizations. X, Y, Z, small letters at the end of the alphabet for individual people. But let's take a look at what this is. Remember this pattern of argument, this form, what's the logical form of this argument? Because we see this one is one we all agree is a good one. And the pattern is all A's or B's. Remember, we're going to substitute A's for men, mortal for B, uh, uh, B, excuse me, for mortal. Then Socrates X is an A. And we're going to get the conclusion from that X is a B. Now we see that these are valid patterns of argument. Well, let's look at those vo those Venn diagrams, the circle diagrams that help us understand the logic. All A's or B's, well, we look at the class of all B things. And we see that the class of all A things is completely contained within the B class. That's because all A's, everything that's an A, are B's. Now we have a premise that X is an A. What does that tell us? Placing it on our diagram, then we're going to put X in the, in the A circle, in our Venn diagram. And we can conclude from that that X is going to have to be a B because of where it's located in our Venn diagram, in our map. And notice what we're saying is any argument of this form is a good, from a logical perspective, a good argument. The conclusion follows from the premises. So when we, we're looking at all arguments having this pattern, logical pattern of valid. So for example, if we change A, or if we use for A, we use mothers, for B, we use female, all mothers are female. For X, we use Beyonce, the singer, and we know Beyonce is a mother. And we see, therefore, Beyonce is a female. So it tells us that our argument has worked and is a good argument.